So, hi. <laughs> this is um, an aluminium effect puzzle. I don't know the brand. Uh, I don't know. Mick Gunther Gissen Behan Kokagi. It's a German brand. Trivo Technopark Gissen Behan. Um, I think it's called Mick Gunther GmbH. I don't know if you really get it. Uh, M E C Mick. It's the logo of the of them. Yeah, and it's a German brand. It's um, from the jewelry market, uh, Miller. It's a German. <laughs> it's a, a German store that sells also here in Germany. Uh, Germany, also here in, in Austria. And yeah, I've got this uh, from uh, Christmas last year, and I've. I tried to do it twice, so it's my third try to do the Comblet puzzle in a time lapse because every time I have puzzled it, I've missing uh, half an hour of puzzling time. And every time I think, no, I can't do a time lapse with such a great gap, so. By the second time I give up and I think I will build it another time, another place. Um, the aluminium effect is is like a metallic uh, surface and it's really glossy and shiny. Yes, it's it's purpose. <laughs> so, but it's really difficult to see and. Uh, on Christmas, the lighting is the year is going down. The lighting is is never <laughs> really great, so it's always um, you need a good light to see the the, the shading of, of the colors, and so it's easier to build. And it's a difficult puzzle, and I didn't want to do it <laughs> a third time in a row. So I leave it till I get there and I think yeah it's a right decision to take as a third try now. Um, it's not the, the pieces are really thick and sturdy. It's a nice cardboard grey but yeah it's a nice cut. Um, a, a relatively unique cut. I think I never got any false fits, but the, the puzzle is, of course, there are not so many colors, uh, really difficult to do. So, and they, yeah, they seem to fit really nicely. Also, I think it's not a frustrating, a difficult puzzle. Uh, with piece shapes or so whatever, not that the cardboard is 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 nice and the, the piece cups are really unique enough so you, so you can puzzle with the puzzle shape. And so I think it's not uh, super strenuous, uh, super hard and heavy to build. But like I said earlier, it's when you have. Uh, really less colors because there under is a little bit green and there is a greater part of of shiny colors of of the sky and the uh, light pink and the blues and the manic blues and the the few unicorns have this fur and um, but they're really difficult to see where directions and they have no patterns. It's a great section, so it's really not easy. And this part is also not the easiest one, but you can sort a little bit of the, the colors and it makes it a little bit easier. But you have to get really good light, and the pieces are really shiny, so. <laughs> 
be aware of any <laughs> metallic glaring puzzles that, that the surface is shiny and makes it difficult. To, so, and there are not so many, so much colors, so you can't really do this. But I think um, I will lay it all out, um, make some piles of edges or pieces that I think they come together. Maybe I laid it a little on 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 a pile, but I think the more or less I will lay it all out and do it. Take the pieces that I want to, to puzzle in in the in the section near me and and maybe we do a little sorting while laying all out. It's always nicer to have this um, these color variations and so whatever in one section and it's always nice and easy to build when you have the right amount of pieces by your side and not not to look over all the other pieces but um, when you lay it out you would need many space <laughs> but in this case i think i will do it because i have built it two times and every time i have make a uh, so sorting beforehand and then take the pieces that I want to puzzle in but always try to see what kind of piece I have so maybe it's easier to puzzle maybe I think I would like to do it like I would do it this time so Lay the pieces all out, stick the pieces to me that I want to puzzle and then do it one by one section and yeah, it's <laughs> the light is very good but um, there are many glares I think in this direction I could not see any of them here on the side I see them really good <laughs> maybe I do the puzzle here <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think I will dive right in and do the puzzle with further, no further adieu. <laughs> I don't like this phrase, I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't like this phrase. Uh, so let's dive in and you see the time lapse, and maybe I say one or two things of the build, but. I think not so much this time I think I really only would like to do plain the puzzle and nothing else so <laughs> enjoy the time lapse and we see each other at the end.
it's really uh, a nice puzzle uh, unique shapes it's absolutely unique and that's make the puzzle by doing funny but the pieces get easily damaged and the shininess makes it really difficult so that's a rough resume uh, I think that's all I have to say about this puzzle and I hope you enjoy the build and the time lapse and uh, yeah, hope we see you in the next. Bye and happy hobby allerseits.